Hey guys, it's Charmaine, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I make my makeup videos on Instagram. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Charmijane with two E's, and I post all makeup videos, hair videos, and all things makeup and randomness. <laughs> so I get a lot of questions on how I edit my videos, and how I film them, what camera lenses I use, and what camera I use, and like what lighting setup I use. So I thought, why not just make a whole video on how I kind of create the whole makeup video kind of shebang. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump onto my other camera so that you guys can see what's going on around me. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So this is basically what I see. My room is pretty small, so I'll show you guys now. Here is what I'm working with. My room is like really, really small. And I actually had a double bed before, but then when I started filming, when I started like my Instagram and stuff, I literally had to make do with the space and I had to switch over to a single bed so that I could have a little studio going on. It's a really bog standard setup. If I come over this way, it's just two soft boxes and a ring light. But the reason why I use these type of soft boxes is because my room is really small, so I just have to make do with what I've got. If I use the rectangular ones, I feel like they're way too big. But um, yeah, this is pretty much what I use for my lighting setup. I will list everything I use down in the description box, like where I got my lightings from and stuff, but they are all from Amazon. And below my lighting, I have a desk, and this is literally where I put all my makeup and whatever I'm filming, and this is where I put it. And then I also have this kind of like stool chair that I sit on, and I also have like a big mirror from Ikea. And then I just kind of like sit like this, have all my stuff there and then I just film. <laughs> I also have these big set of drawers right next to where I sit. So if you guys can see this is where I sit and then I have my makeup drawers there. Only because when I'm filming I want to kind of film and then tidy up at the same time. So whenever I sit down I can just easily grab whatever I need and then I can also tidy up on the way so like when I'm filming I'll just be like da 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 and then when I'm finished with that product I'll put it back just so that it saves so much time tidying up after filming so that's why I've got my drawers quite close to me so as for camera let me just turn off this big ring light at the back so you guys can see properly I use the Canon EOS 700D. I feel like I need a new camera, but you know what? As long as it works for you, then just go with that. You don't have to spend a lot of money, especially if you're just starting out. You don't have to spend like a lot, a lot of money on a camera. As long as the camera works for you and it works with your environment, I feel like that'll just do and that'll just, you know, do the job. I also use the standard, there's a glitter on it and I'm so sorry about that. Um, I use the standard kit lens that the camera comes with, just the normal, I don't even know what this lens is called, but just whatever the camera comes with, that's what I use. I also use a Rode mic whenever I'm filming a YouTube video, but um, on Instagram, I don't think you have to use a mic. I mean, obviously, if you want to talk, then do your thing, but um, for an Instagram video, I hardly use this mic, but it's just there, you know, for, like, YouTube purposes. And I also have this tripod that I put on, and this tripod, we literally got it from the Philippines. I honestly don't know where this is from. It was my parents ages and ages ago and I just kind of got it and used it. What I also do with my camera is I have this cord that came with it and it connects to my laptop. You have to excuse like the missing keys. This laptop has been through thick and thin with me. But um, I connect it to a program called, what is this program called? EOS Utility 2 and it just helps me kind of like control stuff so like for example this side it helps me control the lighting setup and it also helps me to press record it's more easily reached than having to go all the way down there to try to press a record button so I feel like that's very handy and I believe every Canon camera will come with a cord like this to attach to your laptop and yeah as for my backdrop, I have it literally on the side of my bed. But I did get like the, what do you call these? Like the stands from Amazon as well. And I got my backdrop from a random fabric store. You guys can literally just go to a random fabric store to get a meter, I believe. This is a meter and a half, but that just depends on how long 
like your backdrop that you want it to be but this is specifically a meter and a half and that's what I usually get I tend to stick to pink because I genuinely just really like how that looks but yeah I know some people use like paper but I just think paper will not last for me because it's right by the side of my bed and then when I'm moving and stuff it'll just be like it'll rip and stuff so I rather prefer a cloth but that's personal preference so say for example you finished filming I will then just grab the whoops SD card and I use a 64 gig because it's a lot of videos and you need a lot of storage and then I just kind of put it in there so now that I've got my files on the SD card I then open up my Final Cut Pro X which is a software that I edit all my videos this was a video that I did previously so now I'm just going to go on to file and then I can just be like new project and then we can name this er uh, I don't know how to insta makeup vid and then what I always do is I go to custom I click this button and then I go to custom again and then I always do the resolution for 1080 times 1350 and that will give me the vertical video effect so that it's like more longer and then I go on to file, import media, and then those are my footages that I did today. And I'll just click this, and then I will click all of it, or you can hold down shift and click it from the beginning to from the beginning to the end. And then you just put import selected, import. And there you have it, your clips are there and then you can start editing and all that jazz. Then you can just press I for insert. I'm gonna show you how I do. And then O for out and then E for enter. As you can see, it's gonna be kind of like that. You click on the clip and then you go over to video. You can click this button right here to bring this up. And then where it says scale, you press the the number bit here and then you press 225 and that should give you the perfect that is not a pretty look that should give you the perfect scale of where the video is and then you can click this button right here to center the clips so that you make sure that you're in the center like that and then you press done and then once you've edited your video I always do command E for export so you finish your video you can just put command E and then you can just yeah you can just name what you want to name it mine's already named it for me and then you just press next and I always save it on my desktop so that I can see it straight away and I just put save so now once it's saved it's gonna pop up like this and then it's also going to show around about here and then you can either airdrop it or you can dropbox it. What I do is because like personally my airdrop doesn't work on my laptop to my phone. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I need to upgrade my software. But anyway, I go to Safari and then I go on to Dropbox. So as you can see, here are all my files, like my videos I've previously posted on Instagram. But then you can, signing up for Dropbox is free by the way. Like I didn't have to pay for it, but then if you want extra storage, like I've already used two gig so if you want extra storage you can pay but then I just delete stuff so that it's free forever you know <laughs> but then what I do is then I then drag this file and then put it on here and then I just upload to Dropbox and then you just put upload right there and then it starts uploading and there you go it's in your Dropbox file so once you've downloaded a video file to your Dropbox from your laptop I then go on my phone and I have the Dropbox app right there the Dropbox app is also free, that's where I downloaded it from the Apple Store. And then you click on the video that you recently uploaded and then you click on these little three dots on the side. And then you just click export, save, video. And then it will save onto your camera rolls and there it is. And then you go to Instagram and you just upload it how you would normally upload a photo. And then you always click this button if you want it to be vertical. And then you click next. And then post how you would normally post, add your caption in, 
and Bob's your uncle. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you're a beginner, I hope you guys found it helpful and straightforward. And if you have any more questions, please, please, please feel free to comment down below and I will answer it for you. And also I will list all my equipment down in the description box below. And uh, yeah, give it a big fat thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on my next one. Goodbye.